Um, so it's important to know that even while under indictment, he could still run for office. If he were to be convicted, especially, um, you know, if there were jail time that, that would be involved, that would be an entirely different matter. But his, uh, you know, political aspirations to try to run again for the presidency um, are not actually officially upended by the fact that there is an indictment. It's also not surprising, given President Trump's history, that he would uh, try to make political hay of this and claim political victimhood to rally support behind his candidacy. Um, and in fact, one of the criticisms of the Bragg investigation or the Manhattan DA investigation was that because it was looking at one old allegations and two allegations that were charged uh, or that dealt with hush money payments that were trying to keep a story out of the news in the 2016 cycle, that this is something that's politically motivated. If this turns out to be something bigger uh, than that, something that transcends uh, anything related to the 2016 election, um, then I think we'd be talking about a different story. And then I think the bigger question would be, how do Republicans respond to this? Uh, President Trump will no doubt uh, continue to enjoy a lot of support among some Republican voters. But uh, if the indictments are broader than Stormy Daniels, that might actually scare off um, a lot of supporters, ones who would uh, be willing to raise money for him, ones who might be willing to come out in favor of him publicly. So, so long as this is about Stormy Daniels, I think we see uh, President Trump continue to make the types of statements that he makes, and then he can rally people around his political victimhood. But if it's something different than that, while he still may try it, it may not resonate as well uh, with all sectors of the Republican Party base.